she has to offer just feed up her energy and let have an amazing session so with that say my friend Odetta, please take it away hey guys hello 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 how is everybody doing on this amazing tuesday is everybody good guys take a minute and go to the participants right go to the participants see who is on see who are not on if they are not you better call them text them tell them to get on because y'all do not want to miss this you do not want to miss this training i just got off um Ken and I, we just got off a call with, with Johnny and man, I'm telling you, we got a lot of big things to do for our business. So without further ado, um, I'm going to share my screen. Awesome. Can you guys see me? Can you guys see me now? Can you see my screen? Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, guys, we are, what, how many days to go for the month to be over? Today's the 21st. We've got about nine more days, right? And um, we're at the crossroad, guys. We're at the crossroad because it's almost the end of the first six months of the year. Half a year is gone right so um this is time for us to like really focus on what have we done so far for six months of the year are you satisfied with where you are in your business right and um, what have you done six months mark we've got another six months to go and if your first six months was crap it's time to double down right and um, if life happened and it was not good for you in the first six months, now it's time to refocus. So today's topic is going to be about follow it up and prospecting. Listen, we cannot get enough of this topic, right? Thanks for joining me, guys, on Facebook. Hey, Jillian, I nice see you. Hey, Hang on IG. If you guys are not following me on social media, you need to follow me on social media. A lot of you struggle with content. You struggle what to post. You ain't got you ain't got that problem no more. Just share what I post, right? What you see on my social media feed. If you're not following me on Facebook, I suggest you do so. Facebook.com. Everybody know Odetta King, right? Just go to Facebook, look for Odetta King. Go to IG, look for the Swap Queen, Odetta King. And if you're struggling with content, because a lot of people struggle with, hey, I don't know what to post, right? Start start with me. Share the stuff that I post. Right now I'm live on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. Share that live, right? People are gonna see it, and if it's your people, they're gonna contact you because they're gonna know, wanna know like what is it you what is that you just shared? I'm interested, right? So follow up and prospect then is what we're gonna talk about today, y'all. One of my favorite, favorite topic. So let's look at some follow-up statistics and why do we need to follow up 44 percent of sales people give up after one follow-up that's almost half we're not following up 40 percent of sales people give up after one follow-up and again, I'm gonna say this, go to the participant list. If you do not see your people on, call them and text them because this is for them as much as it is for us. 92% of sale people give up after no follow-up. Some people are not gonna follow up and some people are just gonna give up with not doing any follow-up. 92% of salespeople do this. And this is not you, this is not me, this is everybody, right? 60% of customers say no before saying yes. So put on your big penny, muscle up, get thick skin, expect the no's. 
because 60% of customers are going to say no before they say yes. So I want you guys to be okay with the no's. They're supposed to say no before they say yes. 60% customers say no. So don't be mad. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Don't be intimidated. They're supposed to say no. Let's normalize this. So when you can normalize this and they tell you no, you ain't tripping. Because that's what they're supposed to do. Only 2% of sales are made on the first contact. Only 2%. So if you call 10 people, 2% are going to say yes on the first contact, which means you and I have a lot of following up to do. A lot of following up. So it gets used to following up with people. You know, Ken and I was just talking and he's like, oh, he doesn't want to call these people again. You know, why he got to keep calling in? Why? Well, statistics shows 2% are going to make a sale on their first contact. So if you and I don't follow up, we are missing out on 98% of sales. So you have to follow up. Get used to following up. It's okay. You're supposed to follow up. That's how you're going to get the sale. Right? Always end the call with a follow-up date. So if you sit with a client today and they say they want to think about it, give them some time, you want to set a follow-up time. 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours. Don't just tell them, okay, and hang up the call. No, set a follow-up time. So now you can call them back. Listen, guys, I remember in the beginning of my career, if somebody tell me don't call them back, I'm still gonna call them. Three, six, nine, 12 months down the road, right? And in the beginning, when somebody tell me, oh, I'll think about it, I'll get back to you, I would say, okay, and hang up. No, today, I'm going to say, okay, when can I call you back? How is tomorrow? How is Saturday? How is Monday? Because I got to get them back on my calendar. You never end a call without a follow-up date. So a lot of people are going to tell you guys, oh, let me think about it. I'll get back to you. This is where you got to get aggressive. This is where you got to say, you know what? I'll call you on Sunday. How is that? I'll call you on Friday. How is that? I'll call you on Monday. 24, 48, and 72 hours. You do not want to give people more time. Because when you do, if you, let me give you an example. If you go to a store and you saw something that you like and you take you, you put it on layaway and you said, you know what, I'll come back for it. After two, three days, do you still go back for it? Do you still want it after two, three days? You don't feel the excitement anymore. You don't feel the urgency anymore. You say, you know what, oh, I probably don't need it anyway. You don't go back for it. Same thing with business. If you tell the person, you do the presentation and they said, you know what? I'll think about it. And you don't put a follow-up time, 24, 48, 72 hours. A month go by, two months go by, three months go by. You don't even follow up with them. They're not going to call you. Guys, they're not going to call you. You have to call them. So what I do is I set a follow-up time. And if they tell me they're not going to be ready no time soon, girl, life is really bad. I can't afford to do this right now. Okay, can I check back with you in six months, in three months? And I'm going to set that calendar to follow up with them three months or six months. 34% of your time will be spent calling new people. Only 34. 
and the rest is going to be following up. Five to seven people, it takes on average five to seven follow up before you get the sale. This is key, guys. If you Google these statistics, I got these from the website, from Google online. So when I learned this, I was okay with somebody telling me no. I was okay with somebody telling me, let me think about it. Because I'm going to follow up. 24, 48, 72 hours. And if it takes longer than that because life is going on and their life is busy, I'm going to follow up next month, next two months, next three months, next six months. I'm going to give you a lot of time, but I'm calling you back, honey. And we also know that it's going to take an average five to seven follow up before you get the sale. So don't tell yourself, oh, I feel like I'm bugging them. A lot of you are going to say to yourself, oh, I don't want to call them again. You know, I don't want to be too pushy. I don't want them to think I'm stalking them. On average, you're going to take five to seven follow up before you get the sale. So get that out of your head right now. Because you're supposed to follow up five to seven times before they say yes. Now, most people don't make a decision on the first attempt. Most people, right? Very few of us are going to say yes right away. Most people are not going to say yes right away. So again, if you know this in your mind and you precondition yourself, think, oh, I know they're going to say no. I know they're going to want some time. Like it's okay when they tell you no. So how are we going to finish the month strong with strong follow-up on prospecting? Stick to your original goals. Stick to your original goal. Do not change your goal and say, you know what? Oh, I only got nine more days to go. I can't do bronze. I can't do silver. I can't, I can't do, you know, gold. No, stick to your original goal. If you had planned on doing gold or you had planned on doing bronze or you had planned on doing silver, stick to the original goal. And all you got to do is change the strategy. How are we going to change the strategy? We're going to double down on the numbers now. Be consistent. We already know 10, 6, 3, 2, 1. Talk to 10 people. Six are going to say, yes, I'll take the appointment. Three are going to show up. And one is going to do something. So we're not going to change the goal. We're just going to change the strategy and double down. Double down and triple down on your numbers. Make more phone calls. Talk to more people. I just got off a call with Johnny, and that's what I have to do. I got to talk to a lot of people. If I was used to just doing one appointment or two appointments in a span of time, or if I was used to doing just ten, calling 10 people, I got to double and triple down my numbers. That's what I got to do, right? Same goes with you guys. We're just going to double down on the numbers. Second appointment, every time you sit with somebody, your second appointment, you're getting closer to a yes. The fact that they're saying yes to even talk to you again, the fact that they're saying yes to even sit down with you again, you are getting closer to closing and you're getting closer to them saying yes, because they keep ac accepting the appointment. They want to sit with you. They want to see numbers. They want to talk with you again, right? Keep in contact with your follow-ups. Guys, in this business, contacts is money. Phone numbers, email, that is money. Keep in contact with your follow-ups. How are you going to follow up? Phone call is the best. Talking to people, them hearing your excitement, that's the best. Texting. If you call somebody, you get their voicemail. I don't leave messages. I don't leave voicemail. Most people don't check their voicemail. Number one. And if they check it, it's not going to be urgent. But they'll see a text quicker than listen to their voicemail. So you're going to stay in touch with people by always following up via phone call. Secondly, if you get their voicemail, which most of us do, 
shoot them a quick text. Hey, call me back. Okay, can somebody mute the line? Okay, y'all, we're going to have to mute the line. Who is that? Okay, let's see who is triple A. Who's triple A? Okay, thanks. Thank you guys for muting. Okay, number five, ask questions, right? As you're following up and you're making those phone calls, ask questions. What are some good questions right now that you guys can ask? I have two here, but I want to hear from the team. What are some good questions that you can ask people? So one of the questions that I have here is, how's your 401 kid doing? Right? Everybody, we already know the answer, but we still going to ask them, how's your 401k doing? Or do you have a 401k? So what are some questions? I'm going to open it up right now. I want to hear maybe two or three of you. What is a good question that you can ask right now when you're calling people um, and you're trying to either get them to be a business partner or get them to get a product? What are a question that you can ask? You can unmute and say it. Do you have a 401k or 403b that you forgot about? Ooh, that's a good one that you forgot about, right? Because that's old money sitting somewhere, right? That they're not working. They're not working at that job no more. That's a whole lot of coins to roll over into an index annuity. What's another good question? I love that. Okay, unmute and just say it out. I see Robert mentioned, do you plan on working there forever? That's a good one. Maria said, what type of a 401k do you have? What do you mean what type? 401k is a 401k. What do you mean what type of 401k do you have? Um, Ruben said, when can I follow up with you? Yeah, when can I follow up with you? Okay, one more question. Anyone go in? Are you comfortable with the returns your money is getting? Yes, that's a good one. Are you comfortable with the returns you're getting? More questions. Are you making any earnings on your home equity? A lot of people have homes, right? Do, are they, do you think they're making any earnings on their equity? Who's making the earnings on that equity right now? So, you're going to have Can I elaborate? A, huh? Can I elaborate on that question that I put? Sure. Um, because I recently um, found out that there is more than one type of 401k. Um, some are, are called deferred compensation plans and 457s. So, and, and because of the fact that I'm dealing with clients that have all kinds of stuff, yes, I'm learning a little bit more. So I am sharing this knowledge with you. Awesome. Awesome. So next, um, are you making any earnings on your home equity? So this is where maybe if you guys, if you don't have a list of homeowners make a list of all the people that you know own a home because this is a good question a lot of people love to tell you oh i got equity in my home but i ain't doing nothing for them it's doing for the for the bank right what's that four hundred thousand three hundred thousand equity in your sitting in your home doing for you are you making earnings on that equity are you able to pull out the equity number seven i love this one Call your chicken list. You know why? This is a perfect time to call your chicken list because they are chicken themselves. Normally, we're the chicken because we're afraid to go contact them. But right now, your chicken list is a chicken because they are losing money. Their 401k, their 403b, their 457, everything is down 20%. So if you call your chicken list right now, they're going to be happy to hear from you, especially 
because we know we can help them. We can stop the bleeding, right? We can stop them from losing money. We can help them. So this is a perfect time to call your chicken list. And I'm going to open it up again. What is a good question now that you can ask your chicken list? Because again, these are people in our eyes that we think are doing well. They got their finances in order. They got a lot of money in the market. They're savvy investors and we're afraid to talk to them. So what is a good question you can ask your chicken list? With everything that's going on in this market environment. When was the last time you were educated on how to grow your money with 100% principle? Guarantee. Woo -woo! Say that again. Say that again. Guys, you need to write this down because all the people that we think are got their life together, this is so good. Say that again, Leslie. When was the last time you were educated on how to grow your money with 100% principle guarantee? Yeah. When was the last time I learned you this? Educated? I learned this from Robert. No, somebody was doing somebody's in a, in a weekly training. I have it written down. I learned it right here in the weekly training. Yeah. And somebody right, I posted on my my social media and right away. Somebody from Canada reached out to me. <laughs> Robert said you take credit, my coach. This is a good because one. these are questions a lot of people need answers. They, they they need answers to it. They don't know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. When was the last time someone educated you on having a hundred percent principal guarantee, no loss? Um. Follow your followers, and engage with them on social media. Listen, I don't use social media for fun. I use social media to hustle and promote my business. Even when I put something fun, that's to attract them. Because people like foolishness, right? They're looking for in entertainment. So when I attract them now, and now they see one of my fun posts, now they're going to keep scrolling and look at my other posts. And now they're going to see the financial stuff on my other posts. So engage with your followers. How are you going to engage? Follow them back for sure. Comment. Like three pictures. Comment on one. Follow your followers back. Like three of their pictures. Genuinely like their picture. And then you comment on one. Now, when they're looking at their social media feed <coughs> and they see, wait a minute, this person like all these pictures and they comment. Let me check them out. Who's this person liking my stuff? Now you got their attention, right? Because again, these are strangers. So you want to befriend your strangers. Follow them, engage with them. Jeff said this best on Monday training. Stalk your stalkers on social media. Guys, social media is low-hanging fruit. Social media is free. Nobody should say they don't know who to call. They don't have people. Social media is free and you have unlimited access to people all over the U.S. So join a couple of groups on Facebook. If you're a mom, join a couple of mom groups. If you got teenagers, kids, join a couple of groups with teenagers. If you like crochet, you like knitting, you like cooking, you like fashion, Join a couple of groups and engage with your people in those groups. Like a couple of their pictures or videos. Comment on a couple of this stuff. Follow them. Now they're going to be watching you. And it's just going to be a matter of time before they see something that you post. And now they're going to hit you up. So stalk your stalkers. And um, all of us have social media page. You want to make sure you are using and posting stuff on your status. Status and real gives you more viewership. Timeline is good, but status, you can see who's watching you. So every day I post on my status because your status will expire every 24 hours. You want to be posting content on your status and real. If you do not know these things, go to YouTube, Google it, right? Post in your status, do a lot of videos, 
post it on the reels. And it doesn't have to be your own content. You could share out of stuff, share out of people's stuff, right? If you're like, oh my God, I don't know what to post on social media or, you know, WFG has a strict rule about posting, share people content. There's a lot of content on social media talking about IUL, talking about cash value, talking about financial, post and share those content, right? More follow up, internal consumption. What is internal consumption? Everybody that starts this business needs to own a product. You need to be a product of the product. Unless you apply and you got denied because of illness, you need to be a product of the product. I love showing people my IUL because it tells a story. My first IUL, I was saving $166. Six months later, I got another IUL. I was maxing out the first one. I got a second one. I maxed out the second one. I got a third one. I maxed out the third one. I got a fourth one. And now next month for my birthday, I'm getting a fifth IUL. So I love showing people that I'm a product of the product. I love telling people, hey, I own this stuff that I'm telling you to get. So everybody that comes into this business, internal consumption, go through your list of your teammates who does not have a product, get them a product. An Everest, an IUL, a term, an index annuity, because we know that it's good for them, right? Also, follow up within your own teammates. Who on your team need to wrap up their 117 in the next nine days or seven days to close the month strong? Go down your list. You all have teammates who just joined the business, was in the business, is in the business, fell out of the business. Go back to them to help wrap up your 117, right? That's totally doable. Or see in your team who needs to finish their 3330? Who needs to finish their 5530? Make a list of those people. And when you get off this Zoom, those are the people you want to call. Set up a one on one to help them get a product. It starts with you, right? It starts with you. More ways to follow up. Guys, um, this business, because we're digital, you have to be extremely organized online. You do not want to have like a thousand books, right? You got to get organized online. Because if you get a phone call from a client and you're in Guyana, right? You need to be able to access your files. You're not gonna be walking around with 10 different books, right? Or if you're in the supermarket and somebody needs something, you could pull out your phone, pull out your iPad, and you got the information at your fingertips. So Google or Gmail, which everybody knows, is amazing, right? Start, contact, start collecting and organizing yourself in your Google Drive have your Google spreadsheet with your contacts, names, phone number, email, and maybe create a, a section for notes or follow up or whatever it is that you're supposed to do. And not a good way that you can keep yourself organized, right? Besides Google, I mean, you could access Google from anywhere. Guys, we all have a phone that we're paying a lot of money for. A lot of you have the iPhone, right? You have the latest version. It's like six, seven hundred dollars for that phone and you're paying every month to use the phone, guess what? Use the phone, right? So for me, my phone is money, right? If you speak to someone and you have to follow up two, three days from now, yes, you could write it in a book, but what if you don't have the book when you're out and about, right? So your phone calendar, your phone notes, the, there are apps in your phone, that you, the notes apps that you can make notes on, or your calendar in your phone. If you speak to someone today and you got to follow up two, three days from now, put a reminder, 
put a note in your calendar and trace it for two, three days from now. So two or three days from now, it pops up on your calendar alert. Or if you have the WSB, WFG um, agenda book, right? Which I have mine right here. If you have the agenda book, you can write stuff in your agenda book. But hey, what are the odds that maybe somebody's going to call you? And because you don't have the book, you don't know what's going on. So I, I witnessed that a couple of years ago when I first started in this business, you know, I would have stuff on books and then maybe I'm driving to college or I'm driving from college or I'm running errands and somebody would call me and I have their information in a book and the book is now with me. The book is at home. Now I have to tell them, oh, I'll contact you later or I'll call you back when I get home. No, no, you could be losing money like that. So what I started doing is organizing myself digitally. So everything I can pull from my Google Drive or from my calendar. And because I have Google, um, I buy the, the storage for Google, hey, I save everything on there. Yes, you could have a notebook. Yes, you could have a gender book. Writing it is good, right? But also make sure that you have stuff electronically so you could track it. Um, phone calls is the best way to have high conversion. When you call people, they can hear your voice. They can hear your excitement. And if you don't get them on the phone, shoot them a quick text saying, Hey, call me back. You also want to stay in touch via texting people. Sometimes you don't need to talk to them. Maybe it might just be just checking in text is good people are gonna get a text quicker right so text marketing I'm really big on that social media marketing I'm extremely big on that because again that has a 45% conversion people listen nobody's gonna go to your website as much as I say odetaking.com all day people are not gonna go to your website you know what's your website your Facebook page your Instagram page your social media that is the new website that is what people are going to go to first to see who you are, check out what you're posting before they contact you. Yes, they may go to your website, but number one place that everybody is looking first is social media. So be active on social media because that's another way of following up. Because when you're going through your social media feed and you're liking and commenting, you're engaging with people, you might send them, slide into their DM, send them a message, slide into their Facebook messaging, you know? Email also is another one, but email does not have a high conversion. How many of you check your email? And how often do you check it? And how quick do you check it? If somebody sends me an email, if somebody sends you an email versus a text, which one will you get quicker and see right away? A text, right? A text. So although email is good to stay in touch with people, guys, we're paying platform fees. Your WFG campaigner is a gold mine. So as you build your list, you could upload that list into your WFG campaigner and maybe once a month, just send out something, right? And not a waste to follow up. We got to take advantage of webinars. I just got off of Zoom with, Ken, with um, Johnny and one of the things I'm going to start doing, which I'm going to talk to our leadership team is having weekly webinars, right? with specific focus, maybe a webinar one week about kids IUL, another webinar one week for retirement accounts IUL, another webinar one week for people who are already retired so that we could show them index annuity. Like we're just gonna get creative with these things. So when people see the event, it's gonna catch their attention. Oh my God, I have a 401k, let me jump on this Zoom. Or, oh my God, I have a kid. Let me see how they're talking about making the kid a millionaire. Let me jump on that Zoom. So webinar, right? Workshops, of course we do have workshops. Business overview, grand opening, special event. All of these are good ways to also follow up with people. 
Call them and say, hey, this is event going on in Brooklyn. Call them and say, hey, I have a special webinar next Thursday. And invite them to these things. Another way that you could follow up, some people, they want to think about it. They want to read something. They want to see something. Guess what? There's tons of material. So you could send them a YouTube video or you could send them a video or you could send them an article to read. Sometimes you're going to sit with someone and they're, going, and they're going to tell you, oh, can you send me, send me your website or can you send me something to read? Send them an article, right? There's a lot of article that we bring up in training. When you see one that you like, save it, right? So when somebody tells you, oh, can you, you know, I want to, I want to do some more research on the IUL. You don't want them going to look for any article. You want to send them the article that you want them to read. Or if somebody said, oh, I want, I want to do some research on the, on, on the IUL. You send them the IUL baby video or the IUL adult video, right? Don't have them go on a wild goose chase because every pros, that every company and every product has pros and cons. They may go Google something and see something negative about it, right? And we all know that negativity spreads much quicker than positivity. Um, more ways to follow up, we gotta contact many people, many times, many different ways. So I want you guys now to stop telling yourself, oh, I don't wanna feel like I'm bothering them or, or stalking them or calling them too much. You are supposed to and you will need to contact people a couple of times before they say yes. They may see this stuff, and they're not gonna do anything. Guess what? I'm gonna invite them to the next webinar. I'm gonna invite them to the next event because we need to contact people many times, many different ways. So you're not bothering them. We know that this stuff is good for them. That's why we wanna make sure that they see it. Keep following up and maintain a good relationship for the long haul. I cannot tell you, being in this business now for five years, People who said no to me in the beginning or they're not interested, I stayed in touch with them. Five years later, some of them are coming back or some of them are sending me people, right? You're in this for the long haul. So if they tell you no right now, don't cry, right? You're in this for the long haul. 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now, when they're ready, they're going to come to you. So why are we following up? Besides everything that I just said, you also want to grow your list. Every time you talk to somebody, you're going to get somebody else. So today, one of my clients called me, right? She has a restaurant. We went to her Father's Day party on Sunday. And one of her friends who also works for a life insurance company was telling her that what she got is not good. So she called me to say, well, this person say what I have is not good. I said, honey, you have a term with living benefit. You have an IUL saving money. What is better than that? You have a term with living benefit to protect your mortgage and your kids. And you have an IUL, you're, you're, you're self-employed. You own a restaurant. You have an IUL saving money for your retirement. So if that's not good, what is better? The girl was trying to sell her a term with no living benefit. I said, girl, she needs to call me. She needs to come on our platform because she's not helping people out here, right? So as you grow your business, you're going to also get referrals. People may call you for one thing and then you also ask them for other things. The bigger the list, more opportunities for follow-up. So I have so many, oh my God, I have so many people. Like some people even forgot about me, right? Following up is key. So we're almost done. The bigger your list, the more opportunities. You want to have multiple lists. So you could have lists for events. So all of those webinars that we put on, at the end of the webinar, Zoom, we download the PDF or CSV file. We have the name of the person, email, phone number, what they're interested in, if they responded to the poll, what they said on the poll, 
So guess what? All of those events that you and I are doing for webinars, start saving those lists because for every month that we had webinars, we could go back to those events lists and contact those people. Make a list for all the people that you know are married. So if they're married, you could help them with a the product or see if they wanna make more money. Make a list of people who are homeowners. These are people that you can call to see what they have to protect their home. God forbid they pass away. So I always tell this story, my mom, sister, right? Her husband had another woman and the lady passed away of cancer. She had a home, she had three boys. The oldest boy was about 22, but they're minors. At the end of the day, they can't take over a mortgage. They're not working to pay a mortgage. When that lady passed away with cancer, God bless her soul, the bank was not getting money for about five years from her because they know she, she had cancer. But when she passed away, in less than six months, the bank came in and swooped up that house. If she, The first thing that I said to my cousin was, did she have a life insurance? And she's like, why? What does that mean? Why does it matter? I said, because if she had life insurance, half a million, a million, now that she passed away, that half a million or a million, some of it pays off the mortgage. Now the house is free and clear and the kids get to stay in the house. That wasn't the reality. The reality is now these kids had to split up. The 21 year old, he went and lived with his girlfriend and the other two went with a family member. So people who own home absolutely need life insurance, term insurance. Because for term, you're going to get a bigger debt benefit for a smaller amount. So contact all the people, follow up with them about their home, right? Of course, anyone with kids, we love the IUL, right? Millionaire baby, right? Or who just got a new baby? Or who wants to have a baby? I don't have a baby, but for the longest while, I had already set up an account for this child that's nowhere near right but i always knew that i want to have a kid and i'm going to start saving for that kid so people who you know want to have a baby or they're trying to have a baby they could start saving hey if the baby never comes more money for me okay right how about people who are in retirement or are about to be retired in the next five to ten years follow up with those people people who have debt credit issues, follow up with them. People who need to make more money. A lot of people, everybody needs to make more money. The people that said no or not right now, also follow up with them. Because life could have changed. Get organized on your Google and your phone. Never ever take people off your list because situation change. COVID came and a lot of people lost their nice cushion job. No means, not no. So now that we're nine days away, we want to reach out to people and see who has a life insurance. Just post on your social media, hey, who has a life insurance? We're doing free policy review, free upgrade, right? All the people that you know are a little older, hey, we're doing a free policy review, you can get life insurance with no medical. See, if your granny is sick or your granny got some issues or your pops got some issues or your mom got some issues, no medical, contact me. You could also leverage the next promotion. A lot of us are running for a marketing director. So you could call your clients and after chit chatting saying, hey, you know what? I'm running for my next promotion and I need to help 10 families before the month is over or whatever number you make up, right? I'm running for my next promotion. I need, I'm gonna be a marketing director in two months and I need to help 20 families this month or before the month is over, I need to help five families. I just wanna have 30 minutes of your time on a Zoom to show you what is it I do. How is four o'clock tomorrow? Bam, get an appointment. 
run that script with everyone, right? Also leverage the fact that the stock market is down. Call your people, chit chat with them and say, girl, how much money did you lose in the stock market? Did you check your 401k? They're not going to tell you they checked it because they're scared. They know their loss. Don't worry, I got you. I'm going to show you how we could protect that money so you no longer lose any more money. 30 minutes in the Zoom. What's your availability like tomorrow? I have a 4 o'clock and a 6 o'clock. Leverage the stock market. Not doing well. Also leverage your next promotion. Right? You also want to call your existing clients and check in with them. They might be doing good, but still use that opportunity to check in with them and ask for a referral. Hey, you know that stuff I got you, that IUL for you and little Johnny? Come on, girls. I know you got a couple of friends with kids too. Give me their names and I'll call them. Or you put us in a three-way group text, introduce me to them, let them know what I did for you and just, you know, introduce me to them so I can do the same thing for their kids. You don't want to be your only child, be the rich kid, right? Your kids got to have rich friends. So let's make sure his mom and dad has the same thing like we did for your little Johnny. 90% of people don't have a pension, guys. So that's a lot of people that we can help with index annuity to create their own pension, their own private pension. So you can call somebody and say, hey, girl, you've been working at that job for such a long time, or maybe you just started with that job. Do you have a pension? Do you have a pension? No, because 90% of people don't have a pension. They don't do pensions anymore. So just ask, do you have a pension? They're going to tell you no, because 90% of people don't have pension. Companies are no longer offering pensions. Call those people, ask them they got a pension. Girl, girl, okay, you don't have one? 30 minutes on a Zoom tomorrow, I can show you how to set up your own private pension. We get them on an appointment, we see what's going on, and we help them with an index annuity. Even people who are already retired, like I know Vita's on this line right now, can you guys have people who are already retired? Or maybe they just have three to five years more years to retire. Their money is vulnerable right now. They're losing money right now. They're losing money. Can you imagine you in retirement and you still losing money because your money is sitting in the market? Now, they might be losing little if they have it on a very conservative portfolio, but they're still losing. So if you know people who are already in retirement or they're about to retire in the next two, three to five years, hey, let me show you how I could help you grow your money and keep your money from losing. Because you're already retired. You cannot afford to lose anything, right? You cannot afford to lose any more money. You're already retired. And last but not least, these are just some case study. Usha, right? That was a follow-up from social media. I worked with her many, many years ago in the hotel industry. Went to her house. This did an IUL for her and the kids, but guess what? That was it. But she kept watching me on social media. And before you know it, when I reached out to her, it was a no brainer because she's seen all the stuff that I've been doing on social media. Have you is another client. This is a good example of a case study. He attended a webinar. I don't know which one he opted into a webinar and he got into my email trail. So he was getting email from me for a whole year before he decided to reach out to me. He did not even remember which webinar he signed up on, right? Kiwana, who's a business partner, guess what? She saw that I post something about millionaire baby. And at the time, she wanted to know, what is she talking about, this millionaire baby? Are you well, baby? Came on board, got an are you well for herself? and one for her daughter. Sharon is another example. That was a phone follow-up. She saw me on social media. She reached out to me. We spoke for like one or two times. A whole year went by. And then when I follow up with her, she signed up to do the business. So 
you got to follow up people. I can't stress it enough. It's okay to call people. This business, you have to follow up. If you don't follow up, you're leaving money on the table. Your fear of following up is going to have your bank account on empty. Because if you, you and I, we could go out and talk to 100 people. But if we talk to them just one time and we never talk to them again, what do you think is going to happen? We're not going to make anything. We have to follow up. Success goes to the person who makes consistent daily follow up. Every day you want to be calling people. Every day you want to be following up with people. Maybe they're not ready right now. It's okay. Hey, who else do you know? Who else do you know? Right? Whenever they are ready, because you stayed in touch with them, you follow up with them, you stayed at the top of their mind, whenever they're ready, guess who's going to get that call? Guess who's going to get that call when they're ready? you're going to get that call, right? You're going to get that call. And on that note, if you want more, stay in touch with your girl, odellking.com. And that's my part. And I'm going to turn it back over to Vane. I know we went over a little bit, but I want to stress, you got to follow up. The fortune is in the follow-up. Don't feel like you're harassing these people, right? Space it out. Ask them, when can you follow up? If they're really not ready to do anything right now, when can I follow up with you? Three months, six months, 12 months? I'll put it on the calendar. You'll hear from me in 12 months. In the meantime, let's stay in touch via social media. They're going to watch all the things that I'm doing on social media. All right? You got to follow up, guys. Follow up is key. So, Vane, turn it over back to you. And thank you guys so much. Oh my God, Odetta. Again, another amazing session. Thank you so much for all the great knowledge and information you shared. And you know what? Yes, fortune is in follow-up. Your fear